Now let's look into our simple interest. Simple interest we uh, means that with no um, compounding. Okay, this formula normally used for short term simple loans and simple interest ignores the effects of compounding. Okay, so A equals P times 1 plus RT equals P times PRT. Okay, look at this example from the uh, previous final. A loan, this amount was repaid at the end of 11 months. What size of repayment was, was written? If an 11%, uh, sorry. 11.1% annual rate of interest was charged. So we just plug everything into the uh, formula. A equals P times 1 plus RT, which is 8919 times 1 plus interest rate is 11.1% per year. Okay, so it's 11.1% times T. T is 11 over 12. It's 11 months, okay? So the answer should be $9,826.51, okay? That's, that is the final amount, final repayment check, okay? Next, we'll be talking about compounded interest. This formula is used when interest earned is reinvested at the uh, same interest rate. Here, it needs to be highlighted that it is reinvested, okay? For example, you are depositing $1,000 into, a, let's say, BMO account, and the interest rate is uh, 10% per year, okay? Which is impossible. Uh, and the uh, at the end of the first year, you'll get $100 as interest, plus a thousand dollar of principal right then re you reinvest this hundred dollar and you put them back into the uh, saving account and then at the beginning of the uh, second year now you have uh one thousand one hundred dollar in your saving account then at the end of the second year you have hundred and ten dollar as interest and sorry, yeah, and uh, th uh, 1,100 as uh, principal. Then you put uh, the total amount of 1,210 back into your saving account and reinvest it at 10% for the uh, third year, which will be interest, $121 as interest, right? And then you have a principal of $1,210 principal. Now you have a total amount at the end of the set, a first year, second year, third year. At the end of the third year, now you have $1,331, okay? Then you reinvest, reinvest, reinvest. So this is what compounded interest means. Uh, next, um, oh, so the, um, the formula for compounding interest is A equals P times 1 plus I to the power of N, where I equals R over M, and uh, N equals M times T. Okay, this is the uh, whole formula you have to remember. For continuously compounding interest, this means that um, you are earning your interest and reinvest, uh, reinvest your interest every second, okay? So when the, uh, uh, this formula is not frequently visit topic in the final exam, but if you see them, don't uh, panic. It's um, even more simple than the compounded interest, okay? You use this formula when the interest is being compounded continuously. So when you see in the uh, question continuously compounding or compounding continuously, you know that this is the formula you, you are going to use. A equals P times E to the power of R times T, where R is the annual interest rate. And T is the total years. Okay, you don't need to change I to R or T to N, you just plug in R and T. Okay, 
Let's now look at an example right here. Example two, if $1,000 is invested at 12% compounded, A, annually, B, monthly, C, continuously. Now let's answer uh, three questions. So A, annually. Okay, what is the amount after five years? Uh, $1,000, we uh, uh, plug the number into the formula. A equals P times 1 plus R, sorry, 1 plus I to the power of N, okay? So uh, this is annually compounding. Um, total years is 5 years. So I equals R over M, which is 12% over one, uh, 1 time a year, okay? So I is 12%. Uh, N equals M times T. M is... M is uh, 1 times T, total years, 5 years, which is 5. So A equals 1,000 times 1 plus 12% to the power of 5. And the answer is... A thousand seven hundred sixty-two point thirty-four cents. Okay, that is the uh, final amount. B, how much interest is earned? So uh, we have a principal of a thousand dollars, right? And at the end of the term, we have A equals a thousand seven hundred sixty-two dollars thirty-seven cents. Okay, so the interest equals A minus P equals 762 dollars and 34 cents okay c how soon will it make the money to double respectively so we are trying to find the time that it need for our thousand dollars uh to become two thousand dollars okay so the equation should be a at the end of the term we want it to be two thousand dollars 2,000 equals 1,000 times 1 plus i, i is 12% to the power of n. Now we are calculating the uh, the total years, right? So 2 equals 1 plus here, 1.12 to the power of n. Now how to calculate n? Um, we will, uh, I will show you the um, the picture here, okay? You use the function right here. Then you will see log with this. Then you put 1.12 here. Then you put 2 here equals n. Okay.